I congratulate the King of Morocco for making such positive steps uh, toward democracy by uh, decentralizing his government, giving more power to the people so that uh, they are uh, accountable, so that they they are able to uh, assume the power. And then uh, that is a, a wonderful way uh, to rule by giving more rights to the people, uh, making sure that uh, they have uh, rights, responsibilities, and the power. And that makes uh, the uh, leadership uh, more accountable to the people. And that's what we all want for all countries. So congratulations to the king for a very forward uh, pro-democracy, uh, pro-accountability, uh, decentralized uh, speech. Uh, we, uh, we agree with him wholeheartedly. I commend His Majesty. There's a reason why His Majesty is one of the most respected leaders, not only in the region, but in the world. Uh, his leadership, his forward thinking, uh, always looking at ways to make sure that uh, the government is more accountable uh, to the people, and he has made some very serious reforms. Uh, I think everybody in the entire world uh, is now looking at, uh, at him as an example uh, to follow, as a person who uh, really understands um, uh, how to move forward, uh, how to um, uh, make sure that government is more accountable and he's giving again that responsibility and the power. Uh, um, he's spreading that out to making government more accountable to his people. And again, as I said before, uh, that is why he is so respected, that is why he is so revered around the world for his great leadership, for his great ability to look forward uh, and uh, to take measures and that the rest of the world are looking uh, and admiring and thanking him for. His Majesty Mohammed VI's statement was indeed historic and it showed why Morocco was held in such a high place by people in the United States and by our government. I was fortunate to visit Morocco and, and saw the love the people had for their king and it's understandable why they have that respect. He respects the people as well. And this type of, of action in seeing that there are freedoms enshrined in the Constitution, that there is democratic government, that there is a, a, a separation of powers, and all the, the forms of government that we in America hold so dear are guaranteed to the Moroccan people is good reason why His Majesty Mohammed VI is held in that high esteem. Morocco is a, a leader in Northern Africa, and because of his leadership and the role he's played in interacting with his people and in formulating government, Morocco has not had the problems Libya and Tunisia and Egypt have had, but instead has been a rock. And so we commend the king for his actions and the people of Morocco and look forward to a long and lasting positive relationship with the, the Moroccan government. Well, let me begin by saying that the American people consider Morocco a valuable friend and ally, and so we are so delighted to see these movements uh, and this effort to expand freedoms and, and, and to respond to the desires of the Moroccan people. So we're extremely pleased to see this. Well, it's, it, it's heart, it, it really is heartwarming. It's, it's so good for us to see this movement on the, on the part of the king uh, realizing the need for reform and acknowledging it, and now it'll be interesting to see how he implements it. But it's, uh, you know, our, we're just delighted to see him take these measures. We're so pleased to see this expansion of women's rights. It certainly is the right thing to do. It makes the country stronger. And so we're so pleased, we're just so pleased to see that. And, and it's the right thing to do. I think with these expanded freedoms, we're so hopeful. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, we consider Morocco a valuable friend and an ally. And I think that this only uh, helps out our friendship.